Undoubtedly, Genesis makes some of the most beautiful vehicles on the road today, including their flagship SUV, the GV80, giving off Bentley Bentayga vibes for pennies on the dollar. When it debuted for the 2021 model year, the GV80 heralded the SUV era for Hyundai's luxury division, followed by the smaller GV70 and even smaller GV60. The GV80 continues to serve as Genesis' top flight SUV, at least until the larger GV90 arrives on the scene. This year is the 2024 GV80 Prestige Signature Trim, top of the line with the twin turbo V6. All-wheel drive is standard on all models. And though the GV80 can be specced with three rows of seven passenger seating, the Prestige Signature is exclusively a four-seater now with second row captain's chairs. From the power sunshades, to the lighted vanity mirrors, to the heated and cooled seats, these might just be the two best spots in the entire vehicle. There's also a wireless charge pad back here and power seats with a one-touch relax mode. These seats are also power operated from the cargo area, one touch at that, to make expanding the luggage volume that much easier. This feature can also be activated from the infotainment screen, along with all of the massage and comfort settings for the front seats. Now, you won't find this stunning Brunswick green matte paint on the retail site anymore, so let your eyes feast on it here. Situated on these 22-inch dark finish wheels, this GV80, like the entire Genesis lineup, has the exotic look of a boutique automaker. You don't see a ton of them on the road, and the Bentley resemblance is undeniable. Power stems from a 3.5-liter V6, turboed up to 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque on premium gas. Expect 20 MPG in mixed driving. Even though this is the heaviest GV80 at just over 5,000 pounds, available power is never an issue, and it's delivered in a refined, linear manner, full of vim and vigor when switched into sport mode. And the electronically adjusted suspension automatically responds to road anomalies, creating a Lexus-like ride quality and cabin quietness. It's a very qualified drive on country roads where the suspension suppresses body roll, the steering is true, and the 8-speed just knows what to do. Also, the side bolsters grip you a little harder when driving in sport. Definitely a nice touch. But push the GV80 really hard, and it becomes evident that there's room for a higher-performing trim, which is coming at least somewhat in the form of the GV80 Coupe later this year. Based on a rear-drive platform, the all-wheel drive system here is fortified with a limited slip differential, contributing to more confident handling, able to apportion up to half of the available power to the front wheels. And with a snow mode, a set of 22-inch Michelin All Seasons, over 8 inches of ground clearance, and a locker that keeps all four wheels in play, the GV80 feels more than comfortable on slippery surfaces. This cabin is so classy. It's warm and inviting with these quilted massaging seats, all of the textured wood grains and high quality touch points. And then you have this beautifully upholstered headliner and the head up display and 3D instrument cluster are spectacular. Now this here remains a touch screen. However, it's kind of a far reach. So more often than not, you're controlling it here with this rotary dial, which isn't exactly ideal, but just like all of the Hyundai, Kia, Genesis infotainment systems, it is excellent. However, no amount of money is going to get you wireless Apple CarPlay. All of the goodies are here. Ambient lighting, phone is a key, power door closures. I mean, this is true luxury. How much? Well, for this one, 83750 that's about five grand less than a comparable Mercedes GLE. So not quite the deep discount it used to be. But then again, Genesis is ranked second only to Lexus in dependability, while Mercedes languishes towards the bottom. Ergonomically, it could use some rethinking as these rotary knobs of various sizes are too similar and can cause you to grab the wrong one. Otherwise, the GV80 continues to impress in its fourth model year. Speaking of which, the 2025 model is seeing its first major update this year, 
and then likely will transition to an EV sometime after 2026. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.